Hey, Rocket Rolls coming at you from the gorgeous Prince George's with a long overdue moto vlog. <clears throat> yeah, I was having some technical difficulties um, finding the appropriate adapter for the Ghost X. L. I don't know if I have a Ghost X or Ghost XL at the moment. I don't remember. Anyway. Um, yeah, I was looking for a micro SD adapter to connect the audio to my microphone and the helmet. And I'd actually made a couple of videos, I think, without audio. And I made one where I bought an adapter and it kept falling out of the phone, I mean, out of the camera. Now I'm all paranoid, so I'm checking. This one appears to still be in there. And um, so I wasn't really able to, you know, record any audio on my rides. I mean, I could have came up and jimmied another way, but this is my preferred way to capture the audio. So, mm, I don't know how long it's been, maybe as much as six months since I last recorded a moto vlog. But there, you know, and there's in some ways nothing going on, and in some ways a whole lot has gone on since then. Um, PSA: For those of you who do ride, and for those of you who may ride sometime in the future, remember to take the disc lock off your bike before you start to ride. And I know they got that little cord thing that you can attach as a reminder and. I have them and I never use it and today was the day that I forgot to remove the disc lock and promptly dropped the bike in the garage on an incline slight incline and I'm gonna tell you there's nothing pretty about picking up an Africa twin and I'd already decided this today was just reinforcement of it I'm done with the ADV life. Next bike I get will probably be either a Naked Sport or a Tour. And that's probably, you know, the direction I'll go. I don't know which. And I could see me having a Naked Sport or a Tour. And then the second bike would be probably, if I had a tour, the second bike would probably be something like an electric. And it's no, I mean, I, I would love to own a dirt bike and have somewhere to ride a dirt bike. But as you guys see, I really don't have anywhere to ride a dirt bike. So, or even a dual sport. So, I don't know. That'll just be for maybe some future year where I have better access to dirt so yeah I'm gonna you know and I like the new Honda NT1100 you know the tour that complements this bike um, but that doesn't really fix the issue that I have with this bike I might as well keep this one if I'm gonna get that in a way because my main issue with this bike it's one, the weight, but more so than just the weight of the bike, it's how high up the weight is. The only thing I could be happy about today when I had to pick up the bike was that the gas tank has only got about a gallon in it as opposed to the full five gallons. Because then it would have been even more weight, even higher on the bike. I mean, and there's like almost no damage. The handlebar and the top case took the brunt of the hit. Outside of that, I didn't notice any other scratches. And since I've already previously dropped her on the left, this time I went ahead and dropped her on the right. So now I have matching drops. which is, you 
know, sometimes that's kind of a good thing. I feel more balanced now. Ooh, balanced. I'm going to tell you though, it's hot this morning, so this breeze feels great. The thermostat's reading 79, and it might be a little bit cooler than that, but not much. Um... So yeah, that's basically it. Dropped the bike, all the gear worked. Okay, y'all, so the helmet did hit the ground, which means my head hit the ground, I know. But anyway, it sounds better to say the helmet did hit the ground, but I'm not replacing this helmet. Let's just, for the record, should I go out of the blaze of glory in the future? Um, you can go ahead and, no, no, I take that back. I, I, I am replacing the helmet. Whatever helmet I have on when I go out of blaze of glory is a new helmet. That's all I got to say on that trying to mess up Mrs. Rocket's insurance claims. Um, although you're not required to replace helmets. So I guess the insurance claim is safe. But I'm um, on a more serious... Oh, there's steps right there. I never saw those steps before. I've been riding up and down this road for 30 years. What the hell? Where did the steps go? I am seriously blown. I'm blown away. I just glanced over to the right and I saw a stairway going up the hill. <sighs> lordy, lordy, lordy. Well, anyway, back to the motor vlog thing. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I purchased a new camera. Oh, I'm not supposed to say that. I didn't tell Mrs. Rocket yet. Crap. Uh, she don't watch my stuff anyway, so she won't know. Um, it's just a little camera. Tiny. No, I'm not going to tell you what kind. Um, and anyway, so... Yeah, um, I'm about to really get a little more active on the channels because, you know, like if you watched the last video, did I post that video? I think I did. There are channels now. You know what? The more I think about it, the more I think I didn't post that video. Crap. You, no. Don't nobody watch them no way, so... Yeah, I'm about to, I have channels now. I don't have channels upon channels upon channels, but I do have channels. Well, I, you know, the thing is I always had channels. Because the Rocky Rolls Motovlog channel was actually the second channel. But I'll tell you one thing. We now can give this little Kevlar covered mesh arm thingamajig a legitimate endorsement because um, I feel a little bit of a scrape on my arm where the Kevlar doesn't cover. But the Kevlar absorbed most of that blow. I mean, I get it. I was going two miles per hour. But it's still a fall. And for that matter, I want to say most of the scratches on the helmet are actually not on the helmet. They're on the face shield. Which really testifies to the fact it was just a fall and not a crash or anything. 
because I just the face shield did pop off off the little hinge and I popped it back on and it's working normal and everything same thing on the handlebar the little hand cover thing the little plastic you know kit hand cover because I don't have bar clusters the little hand cover thing took the scratches and it popped off and I was able to pop it back on handlebars I don't think feel any more bent than they were already. Do I feel like it? I don't feel like it. I'm just gonna sit here on my space in the traffic. And I'll move over here in case some other motorcycle does feel like filtering today.
already? Oh crap. I have to cut all of that out. I just was sitting here in deep, deep thought. Woo! Feels so good when you're moving. Get hot sitting still. But it's a beautiful morning. Um, I have the dynamic range, the high dynamic range turned on on the camera. So I'm going to be interested in seeing how the buildings and the, you know, dark green trees, the shadows show up against the sky. Uh, Y'all don't care about that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm an artist. <laughs> oh, how come I can't say that with a straight face? Oh my goodness. Now I'm hungry. Falling off your bike makes you hungry. But I think that's just really stress eating. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Come on. Whew. Yeah, and you know what it is, guys. I'm one of them people, I didn't know this before. Well, you never know when you start riding. I'm one of those people who wants a new bike every year. So first of all, I definitely need to start buying on the used market. I'm gonna start buying bikes that are about two years old. You know, 2,000 miles, hardly ridden, blah, 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 blah. Beat down. Woohoo! Beast mode. Go ahead, buddy. But, um, yeah, I'm one of them people. <sighs> About a year, one riding season, and I'm ready for the next bike. Well, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. But I would like to have, you know, a bike to call my own. And I mean, I love my, you know, and a CB500 was almost that, but it really wasn't. Once they made the new CB500 with the 19 inch wheel, and now they didn't put the dual disc brakes on there. Oh, hell. It would have been a wrap for Cinnamon 1 once those dual disc brakes came out. And even really honestly, once the 19 inch wheel came out, it would have been a wrap. Well, it was a wrap because that's originally what I was going in there to buy when I ended up buying this. And I'm glad I bought it, you know. I'm glad I went with the 1084cc versus the 471. Because now I've got experience on a leader bike. It's not a leader bike. Well, it actually, technically it is. Eagle Bank Stadium. That's where the DC United play. I'm going to go um, to a game, uh, take the camera, try to get some. Uh, try to get some good photos. I'm calling that Eagle Bank Stadium. Well, I think it is Eagle Bank Stadium. Audi Field. I think it's one of them dual main things. I don't know. I could be wrong. Either way, I want to get in there and see some soccer. Football. See some football. I don't know. I think I posted a video or two from the baseball game some shorts. I think I might have posted a short or two. And maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't put them on the YouTube. Maybe I put them on the Twitter or the TikTok. I definitely put some stuff on the Facebook.
kind of feel guilty now sitting around talking about trading my bike in. I'm sorry, baby. I was just talking. I, I didn't mean it. It's not your fault that I dropped you. I dropped you. It's not you. It's me. Here's the Capitol building. I hear sirens. Oh, there they go. Hmm. I was just talking about the Capitol. I wonder if he's going to the Capitol building. Well, how come you're going there and you're, you two are going that way? What the hell is going on? Anyway. And then the station's right there, so. Hmm. Must not be that serious. <clears throat> oh, I was going to talk about the Capitol. I was going to ask, hey, any of y'all been watching the January 6th hearings? Okay, confession. I don't exactly watch the hearings. But Mrs. Rocky will be watching them. And she be telling me what's going on. And then she'll, like, show me the little highlights. And, um, yeah, it's, it's interesting. A whole full-blown insurrection. And the evidence is there. Well, I mean, we all saw it on television if we were watching, but there's additional evidence. I think I've seen like three Teslas this morning, which it might be normal. Sure, I've seen way more Chevys and Fords. Toyotas. Yep, there's another Tesla. I don't know. Seems like more than normal, though. I don't know. Something weird about seeing a construction worker on a little electric scooter. I mean, I, it's nothing. I mean, I, I get it. And I'm definitely, you know, I'm a scooter rider. Check out my Lime sc scooter video. It's one of my most popular videos. Go ahead. Google Rocket Rose Lime Scooter. I don't even know if it'll come up, y'all. Well, I'm going to cut this off because I obviously didn't have shit to talk about this morning. Except to say, I know I've been gone. I needed to test out the new audio setup. Hopefully it works. And if it does, I will definitely be making a much more interesting video later this week. Rocket rolls over and out.